What's up guys, Joe here. Welcome back to my channel and today we are back with Recreating History and in this one we are heading to the Ronda von Vlaardra in 2014 where Fabian Cancellara Spartacus beat Greg van Avermaet, Seth van Marker and Stein van den Berger in a sprint to win the Ronda van Vlaardra and if we take a look at his pro cycling stats it was his third and final win over in Belgium at the Tour of Flanders and today our job is to try and recreate that victory. Here is the man then, 33 years old at the time, 83 cobble and just unbelievable attributes all in all, leading this Trek Segafredo or Trek Factory team. I really like that kind of black jersey as well, but we're going up against some strong opposition. It was Vandenberger who was at the front for Amiga Farmer Quickstep, not Tom Boonen or Terpstra. Uh, we have Sky, a very strong team here. We have Seth Van Marker, who was right there back in 2014. Of course, Greg Van Avermaet was beaten by Cancellara as well on that day. Dagen Kolb could well be a challenger to Christoph, who of course we won Milan San Remo with in the previous episodes. Uh, he'll be a very good opposition. Peter Sagan as well, a young Peter Sagan looking to win the Tour of Flanders. And really, I think they are the main favourites. We have Ruelands, Langeveld, Damar is here. Um, and if we take a very quick look through each team, some wonderful old jerseys on show. Uh, but you can see the full start list right here. And guys, I will have a link to the start list in my Discord server. I'll leave a link in the description and in the comments below. Um, I'll also try and leave a link in the description, but there will definitely be one in my Discord server. So head over there um, and join up if you're not already. So you can download the start list and play with this race if you're up for that. And quickly looking at the rest of our team, we do have Stein de Volder, a very strong rider, Gregory Rast as well, a young Jasper Stoyven, 21 years old. He was a very strong rider, um, just 21 years old. Marco Irizar as well. Strange to see, he's 34. I was playing with him in my Trek career on last year's PCM. He raced into his 40s, I believe, unless I'm mistaken. Um, anyhow, this is the squad we're going to try and recreate Cancellara's victory with. Underway we go then here in Belgium and we have Cancellara on a plus one day. Not too bad to be fair, I think. Uh, that should give us sufficient kind of energy to win this one, I hope at least, to claim our second win. Um, I will again leave a link in the description below so you can take a look back at the real 2014 finish. Um, again, I'd like to show it in these videos but I'll just get done by copyright. So you can click on that link and watch the race if you wish. All right, so looking up the road, we have a three minute gap to a 17 man breakaway. We have Sven Tuft here, um, Delage is here. If we take a look through, Conor Velovas, a decent rider, not too good on the cobbles though, but it is a pretty big, um, so fairly dangerous breakaway. Okay, so we have reached the Eau de Quarmont for the first time today. Van Kiel's but too strong it seems for the rest of these guys. We're going to try and set a bit of a tempo um, try and keep Cancellara to the front for now. Not put in any attacks, but just trying to make this a little difficult potentially. And we do have a fairly big split here early on. Alexander Kristoff is behind. Burkhart, a strong rider. Roland as well. So we do have some strong guys out the back. I'm going to try and make it pretty difficult for them to get back in. So we're into the final 100k. And the biggest rider out the back is probably Matt Heyman. And he finished 51st in this race pack in 2014. So... No real scalps right now. We're trying to grab some water with Irizar. And notably, no real cobbles for a little while. Uh, so we just have some hilly sections coming up. Okay, so next climb, we do have a narrow section, which is pretty steep. As you see, average of 8%. Here we go. We're going to try and come to the front with our guys, including Cancellara, just to try and set a really hard rhythm. There you go. Irizar is now done for the day. Good job by him. Cancellara staying to the front just about okay with Stein de Volta. Let's try and just make sure we stay there, push the rhythm over the top, and hopefully we will see a few gaps form like we have just seen right there. 29 riders on the front. Stein de Volta, absolutely bury yourself right now. Try and keep these guys behind if possible. And this is a massive gap that has formed. I can see Christoph is here. Paulini, Hushvod is in the, uh, the group behind as well. So this could definitely be a good move for us. We are now preparing for the second ascent of the Eau de Quormont, the penultimate ascent as well. The remaining breakaway are just up the road. 
They're definitely about to be caught because we have Ras, Stuyven and Cancellara right on the front right here. We're going to set a very quick rhythm up to 90. We have only 55k to go. There you are. We have caught those guys from the early breakaway. They're blocking us off a little bit, which is a shame. But if we can, just keep this going over the top. Cancellara is hardly even feeling this. He is so, so strong. Here we go. Let's set it to 90 right now. Try and push this tempo. Delage has punctured. And we have 21, 23, 20 riders at the front as Tyler Farrar is done, it seems, right there. Here we go, Ross is doing a brilliant job just setting a rhythm. We have a few guys from Quick Step just ahead of us. We're now coming to the Passerberg. This is a little bit of a preview of the final of the race, of course. If we can just keep this up over this climb, that would be fantastic. Try and keep as many guys behind as possible as Steve are trying to do the same for Quick Step. And we are causing absolute mayhem right now. 17 riders at the front to backer. Seems to be done. Burkhart, Van Avmat, second in 2014, is behind. Right, here we are. These guys can tempo at about 85. Cancellara just sits in the wheels. We have Terpstra, Stiebar, Vandenberg and Boonen with Peter Sagan here. Bosenhagen, Boom, Dagenkolb, Van Marker, who was in the top three, of course. Van Avmat as well. They are coming back on as Ras is now done for the day. We're going to use uh, Jasper Stoiver now, our final helper. 15 riders at the front here in a very explosive Ronde van Vaderen. So again, we're just pushing the rhythm on these climbs. And GVA cannot stay, uh, stay to the front of this group. And that is causing issues for Terpstra, Wiggins, EBH again as well. As Stein Vandenberg is actually trying a move off the front as we have a puncture further back. Vandenberg doesn't really have the best acceleration. He cannot get away. Stuyven is going to continue right now. And could we try something potentially with Cancellara? Uh, with so many guys really struggling. Jasper Stuyven, what a ride by the 21-year-old, remember, at the time of this race. Rast is gone. We do have a group of nine, including Garrett Thomas behind, but those guys, pretty sure they're not coming back on. And now we are getting some help from Quick Step as well, which is very useful. Uh, Cancellara can just sit in at 65. So Denix Debar is going to bury himself with Vandenberg, Terpstra, and of course Tom Boonen as GVA. Right there was definitely struggling. I saw him struggling. So maybe GVA is not going to be capable of repeating his second place. Here we are then on the Kreuzberg. Stuyven is done. We're going to have to try something pretty small here with Cancellara. Stuyven is gone out the back. GVA, Bersenhag and Wiggins, Vandenberg, they're all gone right now. Let's just try and keep this steady. 65 on the front should be good. Boonen, Dagenkolb, Sagan, Terpstra and Van Marker are here. Bosenhagen trying to bring a few back on as GVA is gone for the day. I think these guys will now make it back on. We have Cancellara at the front and I think Stiebar is going to get dropped, is he, by Wiggins and Bosenhagen. And there you go. Wiggins attacks away from Bosenhagen and this group does come back together a little bit. We're going to have to react. Let's follow Seth Van Marker. Can he follow the attack of Nicky, Ter uh, Nicky Terpstra? Amiga Farmer quick step. Other team right now with the numerical advantage, but seven riders are at the front. Let's sit up with Fabian, try and conserve energy as we approach the Eau de Quarmonts. GVA, mate, what has happened? That second place is certainly not going to repeat it, uh, repeat itself today, but Wiggins, Dagenkol, Boonen, Van Marker, Sagan and Terpstra all can taste victory. Let's come to the front with Fabian ahead of the Eau de Quarmont. Here we go, it's an attack. Tom Boonen attacks just coming into the Eau de Quarmont. We follow pretty swiftly with Cancellara as his teammate Terpstra is now dropped. But Cancellara coping with the cobbles so, so well. What a rider, Fabian Cancellara. Spartacus was in 2014. Can we stay with Tom Boonen? We're going to try and count him over the top as Wiggins and Dagenkolb are done. But there you go. We still have four riders here. Sagan is still here and we know how dangerous he is. Boonen, Van Marker, Sagan or Cancellara are going to win this Ronde of Vlaanderen. Here we go. We're trying to recuperate into the Passerberg. And I now want to go 99 into this climb. Can we try a little move with Fabian Cancellara, Sagan and Boonen? Need to try and cling on right now because Cancellara is so strong on the cobbles. Pushing it over the top. But these guys, what a ride by all of them. Van Marker as well. But he's struggling on the descent. And that is where we can push away with Fabian Cancellara, but three riders just behind. Going to be very difficult to keep them there. And Tom Boonen versus Fabian Cancellara right now at seven seconds. He's asking for help from Peter Sagan, and Sagan 
Is he strong enough to give it to him? He's going to try, but Cancellara is spending so much energy right now. We're going to drop this to maybe 75 and hope we can keep them behind, but they're still keeping it within 10 seconds. This is so close right now. And Van Marka cannot work. I wonder if it's worth waiting for these guys because it's such a slender lead. And if they catch us, they're surely going to counter Fabian Cancellara. But Sagan and Boonham will surely beat us in a sprint. So we have to try and hold on for now. But 5k to go. Boonham comes around again and we are pretty much done. It's still 8 seconds. We're going to have to drop this to around 70, are we? Van Marka trying to work. But Cancellara is really struggling. We have nine seconds left. Here comes Peter Sagan. And I think they're going to catch us. I'm very, very worried here. Very worried. And we're going to have to stop. We're going to have to stop right here. And Peter Sagan, is he trying to counter us? Let's try and get in his wheel if we can. We can go 10. And Sagan will not come round right here. Oh boy, we may have lost the Ronde van Vlaardum right now. Peter Sagan in our wheel. And he's not coming round at all. We're going to have to try and lead them out here. Cancellara versus all of these guys into the final. Cancellara going for the line, but Sagan is so, so quick. And Peter Sagan wins the Ronde van Vlaardum. We're going to get third behind Tom Boonen. It's close, but no cigar today. Well, guys, we gave it a great go today. I really wanted to try and hold that solo victory rather than taking it in a sprint, mainly because Peter Sagan was there. We had no chance versus Sagan in a sprint, despite Cancellara taking it in a sprint back in 2014. He took on the likes of Van Marker and Greg Van Avermaet, not Peter Sagan. So we gave it a great go, uh, but Spartacus couldn't quite recreate his victory today. And by the way, guys, sorry if my lights went out um, at the finish. Uh, yeah, my mistake, didn't charge it before recording today. Uh, but anyhow, really hope you enjoyed today's episode of Recreating History. Next up, we will have Paris-Roubaix, so I hope you're looking forward to that. Drop a like on the video if you did. Smash that like button if you're new. I will see you in the next one.